So in this video, we want to start with the first example, proving by induction that the sum of r, from r is 1 to n, is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. So what we're looking at here is the sum of the first n natural numbers. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, etc., all the way to as far as you want up to whichever number n. Okay, so if you wanted to work out the sum of those first 100 terms, then the shortcut would be to substitute 100 into this formula. That's the idea. Um, so we want to prove that this is true, and we do this by induction. Okay, so I would advise that when you're writing through these problems, writing your answers down, that you identify clearly step one, step two, step three. Okay, make it clear for yourself and for the examiner. So step number one, prove true for n equals 1. That's what we need to do. Okay, so all we need to do here is substitute n is 1 into the left-hand side. So the left-hand side is the sum of r from r is 1 up to 1, which is just 1. Okay, substituting r for 1. And the right-hand side, we substitute in the 1, so we get 1 lot of 1 plus 1 over 2, which is 1 times 2 over 2, which is 1. Okay, so it is true for n equals 1. Step number 2. OK, now if I was being uh, a stickler about this, I would probably, if I was in the exam situation, write down so true for n equals 1. OK, underneath that, just so it's very, very clear. Step number two, assume true for n equals k. So what we need to do here is we just rewrite the original statement but we replace the n with k. So we're going to assume that this is true. Step three, prove true for n equals k plus one. Okay, so what we need to do here, and the end goal, is to arrive at um, an expression on the right hand side so that it is the same as me just substituting n in this formula with k plus 1. So what I want to arrive at is k plus 1 times k plus 2 over 2. That is the end result because that is uh, showing me that it works for n equals k plus 1. So how do we go about that? Well, we're going to need to write down the sigma from r is 1 up to k plus 1, OK? Now, with series like that, this is the same as me writing, uh, adding up the 1 all the way up to k. So from 1 all the way up to k, and then I've got that final term where I have k plus 1 substituted into the r. OK, so that is what I would arrive at. So this is the same as adding up all the 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 all the way up to k, and then I've got that k plus 1 on the end. Now, I've assumed that this is that. So I can replace that with the k, k plus 1 over 2. So I'll pop that in a bracket, just so we can clearly identify that it is this other term. Now notice how we've got a k plus 1 here and a k plus 1 there. So that means we can factor k plus 1 out. Now, what have I got left? Well, I've got this k over 2 plus 1. Because if I expanded those brackets now, I would arrive at this expression here. Okay? 
Now take a look at what we need to arrive at, okay? We need to have k plus 1 times k plus 2 over 2. We're not quite there. We've got the k plus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor the half out of that bracket, okay? Now this is a little odd. This isn't a usual step that you would really think about doing. But if we factor the half out, what that means is that inside this bracket, I must multiply everything through by 2 in order to counteract pulling the half out. So that would leave me with k plus 2. And so I've got the k plus 1 times the k plus 1 plus 1, the k plus 2, all over 2. These two are the same thing. And so we've proved that it is true for n equals k plus 1 because we've arrived at exactly the same thing where n is k plus 1 up here. So that does it. We have now proved by induction that that is true. And so we must now write down our concluding statement. So, as true for n equals 1, and if true for n equals k, then true for n equals k plus 1, so true for all n greater than or equal to 1. Okay, that's our concluding statement, making sure that we've got the correct if and then to support the argument.